I think it was like mid 30s temperature, Ooh. and then the water oh. was probably colder than that. So there you go. It's like you said, his hair, hair looked fantastic. And I know. I mean, it's like okay. best hair in college football. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> All right, guys, good morning, too. Let's check out the current weather going on right now. Out the door this morning, kids will want to prepare for a cold start. 29, there's not much wind right now, but there are a few clouds in 29, so get them ready to go with a coat. Probably the gloves, get into the, to the bus stop, maybe a stocking cap. But as we go to the afternoon, not as cold. It'll be cold. I mean, we should be up around 60, so we'll be about 10, 15 degrees below what's typical. But if they've got their jacket on, I think they'll be okay getting on that bus. They'll be uh, be prepared for what should be kind of a chilly uh, Tuesday here across Oklahoma. We'll talk more about the statewide temps in just a bit. Let's check out our next system coming in. A lot of action going on in the northern plains, uh, through the northern Rockies, into the uh, central plains right now. As you can see, winter advisories are going up. These will be winter storm watches in the blue. The orange will be winter weather advisories. And the red through the spine of the, of the mountains, a lot of those are winter storm warnings. This next storm system is going to pack a punch as it rolls south. There's a storm system developing in the northwest parts of the country. So this cold front will slide down and that storm system right over the top of it, and that sets up the opportunity for some precip for Oklahoma. The air's cold behind that. You know, it's been cold the last few days. This will kind of be a reinforcing shot, and the air coming out of this next cold front will be even colder than we had to start off the week. We made it to 40 for high yesterday. This will bring some 30s to the state as going to Thursday and Friday. Maybe some upper 20s in spots. This is some cold Arctic air and that blows down our way. It'll arrive into Oklahoma as we go into Thursday, settles in on Friday before we start a nice warming trend heading toward next week. Right now, 29 out the door this morning. Winds are light, but puts the wind chill at 23. Cold start this morning. We'll hover around 30 this morning. We'll be around 40 by lunchtime. We'll top out in the middle to upper 40s today. Some cloud cover. That'll thin out some going into the afternoon with light northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. If you have allergies, you may be feeling this morning. The allergy count updated. The cedar pollen is high. Waking up this morning to 20s, some low 30s around 30 in Ada, 32 Lawton. Most spots are in the 20s, and that's where wind chills are as well. So we're rebounding our highs in the 40s today. 20s and 30s overnight tonight and then back up into the 50s might get close to 60 here in central Oklahoma even milder air with some sunshine on the way for your Wednesday and here comes the colder air blowing in on Thursday again high yesterday was 40 we'll bottom out in the 30s coming in maybe some 20s as that Arctic air blows on in on Thursday setting up the opportunity for some winter weather on Wednesday that cold front moves into the northwest part of the state the panhandle by late day may have a light winter mix that winter precip starts to nose on in late Thursday into Thursday night. That'll set up, up a winter mix by evening time for Oklahoma City, and we'll have some areas of snow developing. This will not be a major winter storm, but it will be one that produces some snowfall, and some of the snowfall amounts uh, will be going up. We've got the dark blue one to three, the light blue up to one inch, and then the white uh, dusting. So I think this will be a light event kind of coating the state with about one, maybe two inches in the west. As you go in the east, it'll be two, three, there may be some locally higher totals in east parts of Oklahoma, maybe up to four. If there are any advised conditions, I think the higher opportunity that will be in the eastern part of the state. For Oklahoma City, again, one to two inches of snowfall will be possible, mainly impacting your grassy areas, maybe cold enough to cause a few slick spots. We'll monitor that. Not a whole lot of closings, I don't suspect, as the snow moves through during the morning into the afternoon on Friday, and that moves out. Here we go. Warming temperatures on the way. We'll start near 17 on Saturday. Get up to near 70 by Monday. We'll close on 80, heading on into Wednesday. And don't forget, daylight saving time comes becomes uh, a factor going into the weekend. Set your clocks for one hour coming up on Sunday. We'll be back with your outdoor forecast in just a few minutes.